Right, let's continue our tutorials. Um, let's first kill our Conky. Okay, see, Conky is dead. Super Shift D to get our screen key back so you see what I'm pressing. And then Super Shift Return. Opening up Xmonad, it's hidden away in a dot, not a dot config, but just a dot Xmonad. And it's here, and we were talking about the scripts, how to start, open it up with Atom. The advantage is that you have everything ready in the syntax here. We need to have uh, the syntax for Haskell later. We're going to talk, if we did talk already about resolution, so that's this bunch that's in here. Let's now get to line 20. In line 20, we tell him to run polybar. So polybar is this line up here. And there are lots and lots of modules uh, for polybar. That's why we want to keep this guy as our standard default bar. And that leaves some, some room for creativity for the users. If you want to have XMO bar, lemon bar, there are lots of bars out there, then it's up to you to develop it and read an arch wiki in YouTube and figure it out and replace it. But this is going to be our default bar. Now there is still room for improvement um, to keeping to, to, to make um, Polybar more stable on Xmonad. We've, we've done already major changes, but um, it's gonna be a work for the future as well. Basically what this line 20 does is say, look, um, it's going to use a run function. It's up here, function run. If it does not exist, if it's not running, then run it. That's what this uh, lines up here do to make sure that you don't restart an application. If Discord is already launched, don't launch Discord again. And why do I say Discord? Because there's a bunch down here. So run Discord, if you say I wanna boot up, and always have Discord available at every boot, then you just do this. And then it's going to go to the function and says, oh, but Discord is already launched, so I will not launch it again. Or it is not launched, then I will launch it. That's what this thing says. Control Z. It's going to launch something, right? In your home directory, .config polybar launch. Let's quickly have a look. It's uh, Let's kill all these guys. So, super shift return. Go to polybar. Since it seems to be important, it's better you put it here as well. So, that's your bar up here. Polybar. This is the configuration. Let's open it with sublime text this time. And this is your look. This is your file that's gonna launch polybar. And it's a quite complex thing. First of all, it's gonna kill everything, and then it's gonna figure out, hey, um, on what desktop am I? I am on a desktop, either i3, BSPWM, OpenBox, or Xmonad. And this is the last code that it's going to run. And then it's going to count. So this code is different, and so it's in, in revision, it's in testing. And whether we should replace BSPM code or the open box code and then use this code. What does this code do for Xmonad? It's going to go inside, um, well, it's going to count the monitors. And we just made a video about Xrender, and Xrender is super powerful. So, how do you figure out these things? One moment. All right, let's continue. So we have, um, a desktop that has a variable that works, a count, going to figure out, hey, what is this line? So I do not write code like this, just, just out of the top of my head. You start, let, let's uh, you say that again, reverse engineer it. Control Shift C, Super Shift V, that's not successful, again. So select the code that you find on the internet or in here, Control C is better, and Control Shift V. And this is what we get. So we figured out a way to get the number two. And this is how you can reverse engineer a code. All right? And this is it. 
that's the, that's where we started. But when we add more and more, so this skull, this this thing um, that you see here, it's piping. So the result of this thing goes into the other element, which is piping, puts the output through to here, to here, to here, to here. And in the, the last line you say, just count everything. And it seems I have two screens. So in here is number two, and we've changed the code a little bit. And um, that's also because of the, to, to, to make an attempt to really make Polybar a strong um, bar that we can use in any of the tiling window managers. Openbox, i3, uh, BSPWM, and now Xmonad. If the count is one, if there's just one screen, then you load it up and we load elements. I mean, load up the main bar Xmonad or the main bar BSBWM or the main bar Openbox or a second bar. So somebody asked me, hey, can we have two bars? It's here. This is me loading up a second bar. Um, so this is what happens when you have one screen. That's another question of somebody. Let's assume that you have two screens and just want to have one bar on one screen and nothing on the other. So that's defined in here. If you have two screens, this is if one, do this. Else, you have more screens, then it's going to count all the screens. And it's okay, one, two, three, four, four screens. And it's going to do, it's going to do it four times then. Four, M, done. Do done or the four next loop make sure that four monitors get a poly bar. That's what this uh, loop does. So that's the new code that we're evaluating. It's different than the code in here and um, we'll see. So that's a little bit technicality that's behind all of this work. So that's all about one line, line 20 actually, and leave it at that. I think that's a nice uh, video.